For part one of this tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up the user interface of the Minesweeper game. We will create the counts at the top of the screen, one for the count of bombs and flags, the next count for to be used for the timer. We'll show the smiley face on the screen. We'll show a flag at the bottom of the screen and we'll show a 10 by 10 grid uh, of tiles created using a recycler view. So let's get started. Let's create a new Android app now. We'll go File, New, New Project, and we'll use an empty activity, and we'll give it the name Minesweeper. Then we'll go Finish. So we'll need to open our strings.xml file, located in the resources directory. We'll need to add a few strings to this file. Uh, we'll add a smiley string uh, using the smiley uh, emoji Unicode character. And we'll add one for a flag uh, and a bomb and a default count of 000, which will be the default value for the timer and the number of flags left on the left hand side. Okay, so before we create the activity layout resource file, what we need to do first is bring in the dependency for the recycler view. So we're just going to the activity layout resource file, go into design and select the download button next to recycler view and select OK. This will pull in the recycler view dependency. Next we'll open the activity main layout resource file and we'll copy over an existing layout resource file I previously created. And I'll just go through that file for you now. It uses a constraint layout. At the top of the constraint layout, we have a linear layout, which has a horizontal orientation. And inside that linear layout, we've got a text view, which is uh, used for counting the number of flags we have left. Then we're showing a smiley face, which will be used to start the game and create a new game. Then on the right hand side, we've got a timer. The timer will go up to 999 seconds. And if the game isn't finished by then, it will uh, trigger a game over toast message. Underneath that, we've got a recycler view, which will be where our grid of 10 by 10 tiles are displayed. And underneath that, we have a text view, which uh, uses the um, emoji symbol for the flag. Uh, and we'll be able to toggle uh, into flag mode and toggle it off. Uh, once that mode is toggled on, we can place flags on the screen inside the grid. Next, what we'll do is we'll create a new class representing a cell, which is one of the tiles in the game grid. So I'll copy in some code here. Okay, so uh, we have some default values for uh, the cells. Uh, a bomb will be a value of negative one and a blank will be of the value zero. Each cell will have a value, which will be an integer. It will have a Boolean value if it's revealed or not. And it'll have a Boolean value if it's flagged or not. The constructor takes a value as an input, as a parameter, and the revealed and flagged variables are set to false. I've added some getters and setters for each of these values. Next, I'll create a class representing the grid of mines. Give it the name mind grid. And this class will have a variable for the list of cells. And we'll also have a size. This size is the number of tiles in the rows and the columns. So we'll create a struct constructor for the mind grid and takes a single parameter for the size. In the constructor, we'll just initialize the size variable. From there, we'll create an array list for the cells. From there, we'll populate this uh, array list with a grid of cells and each of these cells will have blank values. So we'll use the size variable. And uh, we'll add a cell 
that will have the value of blank. So uh, if we've got a grid of uh, 10 by 10, uh, this will be called 100 times and 100 blank cells will be added to this grid. Inside the mind grid class, we'll create a getter for the cells. Next, what I'll do is I'll create a class representing the Minesweeper game. So I'll go new Java class, Minesweeper game. And the Minesweeper game has a variable for the mind grid. In the constructor, what we'll do is we will set up the mind grid. And the mind grid needs a size, which we'll accept as a parameter into the Minesweeper game constructor. And we'll create a getter for this mind grid. Now we'll want the tiles in the grid to be clickable. So we'll create a listener with the name on cell click listener. And we'll add one method called on cell click, which takes a parameter of cell. And in the main activity, we will implement this listener. And then we'll override that method. And in this overridden method, we'll just create a toast. with the message cell clicked. And we'll show this toast. What we'll do next is we'll create a custom recycler adapter for each of the cells inside this grid. But for, what we'll do first is we'll create a new layout for each of the items in the grid. So in the layout directory, we'll go new layout resource file and we'll give it the name item cell. and I'll copy over some existing code I've prepared. So each cell will have a vertical orientation with a linear layout, and it will have a layout width and height of 32 dp, and a layout margin of 2 dp. Inside that, we'll have a text view, which has a text size of 18 sp, and this is where we'll place our the details of our cell, whether that be a number, or a bomb, or a flag, or a blank square. Next, we'll create a custom recycler adapter for our mind grid. So we'll create a new Java class. We'll give it the name mind grid recycler adapter and select enter. So what I'll do next is copy in some code and I'll go through this now. So the recycler adapter we've created extends recycler view.adapter and it uses the view holder we've created for each tile, which we've defined in this class. It has a list of cells and a variable for the on cell click listener. These get defaulted in the constructor. Then we've got a method called on create view holder, where we use the item cell layout we created previously to inflate the layout for the mind tile view holder. Then we've got the on bind view holder method and where we invoke the bind method on the mind tile view holder to set up the item view, passing in the selected cell at the position that we're at in the with grid. In for the get item count method, we return the number of cells in the list of cells. We've also got a set cells method where we can update the cells in the list and invoke the notify data set change method to make sure that those values get up to date in the recycler adapter. Then we've got our view holder class for each mine tile. We've got a text view which will display the number or the bomb or flag emoji. And in the constructor, we set up that text view 
by finding the correct ID off the item view. Then we've created a bind method where we take a cell as a parameter. So what we're doing in the bind method is we're invoking the set background color on the item view and setting the background to a color of gray. Then we're adding an onClick listener to the item view, which will invoke our onCellClick method on our listener, passing the cell that's been clicked. Now what we'll do for the final part of this section of this tutorial is we'll set up the recycler adapter and the recycler view in the onCreate method of our main activity. So we'll add some variables to the main activity. One for the recycler view, for the grid. Next, we'll add a recycler adapter variable for the mind grid recycler adapter. And we'll also add a variable for the Minesweeper game. So in the onCreate method, we'll set up the grid recycler view variable by finding the ID. Next, what we'll do is we'll set the layout manager on the recycler view to be a grid layout manager. Pass this as a parameter and the size as 10 because we want a 10 by 10 grid. Then what we'll do is we'll create a new game using the constructor for the lines with the game. And we need to pass a size, so we'll pass in the size of 10. Now we'll create the Recycler View Adapter. So we will create a new version of the Recycler Adapter. Uh, for the parameters of the Recycler Adapter, we'll need to get the cells from the game. Then we need to get the mine grid. And then we need to get the cells off the mine grid. The second parameter will simply be this because that relates to the listener, which has been defined in the main activity. Now we will uh, set the recycler adapter on the recycler view by invoking the set adapter method on the recycler view and passing in the mine grid recycler adapter. Now we'll run this in the emulator. So now you can see that we've got a 10 by 10 grid. We've got a flag at the bottom of the screen. We've got two text views, one for the number of bombs and flags and the other for the timer countdown. And we've got a smiley face as well. And when we click the cells, it generates a toast message. So that's the end of the first part of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.